If music be the food of love, then our current music industry is an all-you-can-eat buffet. That's right, you can pretty much listen to any artist or song at any time you want on countless amounts of platforms and streaming services. But are we reaching a saturation point where more competition is actually hurting us? Is the infinite choice of music options available driving us back to the days of Napster when consumers found it easier to just download music for themselves? Streaming was supposed to be the manifestation of the celestial jukebox, a term coined in the 90s referring to a then-hypothetical networked database of media that could be available for consumption at the whim of the consumer. And to a large degree, this has come true. If you want to listen to Owl City, you can go to Spotify or YouTube and there it is. Celestial Jukebox Destiny Fulfilled. However, if I wanted to listen to 1989, I have to go to Apple Music. And if I want to listen to The Life of Pablo, I have to subscribe to Tidal. And while this creates a healthy market of competition, it creates a huge hassle for me when I'm trying to make a playlist for my bae. And don't make me choose between Taylor or Kanye, because I won't do it. I won't do it! And so, when faced with any adversity to obtaining something it wants, the internet always finds a way. Just ask Yeezus. The Life of Pablo was torrented over half a million times after its initial release, when the rapper refused to release his album anywhere other than Tidal. But if you think that piracy is the only means of obtaining music illegally, you need to put down your Tamagotchi and head over to the Central Perk because 1999 is calling and it don't want no scrubs. While piracy over peer-to-peer -peer networks have been cut almost in half since 2004, New forms of acquiring unlicensed music have appeared in the form of stream ripping, storage lockers, mobile apps, and hardware swaps. All in all, 57 million Americans are still acquiring music illegally. 35% of which are people that purchase music. So perhaps we still have some time to go before the dream of the celestial jukebox is entirely realized. Streaming services have yet to turn a profit, and artists are still fighting for fair compensation for their work. Meanwhile, plagued by so many choices, it seems like consumers will need less options before they can commit to a service they like. Not to mention, people will always want free stuff leaving us to wonder how much do we value music when it's so easy to obtain for free. Hey, thanks for watching! Make sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the episode and what you'd like us to explain next. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel because it's awesome. That's it. Go listen to music now.